two AL West rivals. We'll see the Seattle Mariners as they play the Oakland Athletics at the Oakland Alameda County Coliseum. Moments away on 2K Sports. They think they have a strong home field advantage. Final score will determine that. We'll see if the A's get it right. I'm Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Kruk as we get ready for MLB on 2K Sports. We've got Oakland A's fans everywhere surrounding us here today for our ballgame. Oakland starter for our ballgame. So Steve, what's you got in store for Seattle hitters today? Well, a little mismatch in this one right here. One of the best lefties in the game against the lineup that does struggle at times to score runs. So it could be a lopsided ballgame. And now we have a moment to take a look at the lineup for the Mariners. So who are you looking at, John? Well, one of the more unorthodox players in baseball is Ichiro Suzuki. But I tell you what, kids, watching him play and, and what he does better than anyone in baseball is he puts it in play, he knows his limitations, he doesn't try to hit home runs, but if you want someone to give you a single and then steal a base, Ichiro's the guy. Well, the uh, Athletics with a victory last night, and there's two more left in this series against the Mariners. Well, the how have they won five games in a row? It's really very simple. Great starting pitching, timely hitting, and catching the ball when it's hit to them. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0-1. And, and when you're going good, it all sounds so easy, doesn't it, John? Well, it sounds easy, and they make it look so easy. They've got all the pieces to continue this run. Here's the pitch. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Ichiro to protect a bit. Let's see if he bounces back after last night's game, striking out twice. See if he has a little bit more plate discipline. And here's the delivery, and that one gets popped way up behind the plate. Tried to track that one down, but comes up empty. Another foul ball. Ichiro keeping this bat alive. Well, that pitch right there up in the strike zone is a pitch that normally this hitter would drive. But the fact that he's in the hole 0-2, he had to take a more defensive approach, and he just fouled it off. And he's on. That's a nice way to jumpstart your offense. Boy, I don't know in that count, Steve. Number one, the fact that he swung is kind of a surprise. I don't know how he hit that where well, it was. You're right. On an 0-2 count, you have to protect the plate. Sometimes it's a defensive swing, but sometimes it works out. Now's a good time to take a quick look at how the athletics shape up on the field with defense. He'll lead off the home half of the first. And the first pitch. Good pitch from Hernandez. On the way. Doesn't get the call on the slider. One on one. One one delivery. A fastball taken for a strike. One and two. Now that he's established the bottom of the strike zone, it gives him so many options. He can go to the breaking ball or climb the ladder with another fastball. Outside, two and two now. 
Well, you got to like the way he's changing speed and mixing up his pitches. He just missed, though, with that changeup down and away. The pitch. Drilled towards the hole. And Oakland their first hit. Here's the lineup for the A's. A lot of speed in this lineup, which could challenge the pitcher and the catcher to hold runners, but also challenge the defense to rush their throws. You got a chance to check out the Mariners on the defense. So, John, any individual stand up? Well, he might be a singles hitter, but what he does is rob extra base hits from a lot of the hitters that he faces. Ichiro Suzuki, unbelievable strong throwing arm, really practices his craft every single day. That's why his arm's so strong and so accurate, but he can go get him with the best of them in the outfield. Runner on first. First base, nobody out. Two men on, two men out. Hernandez gets set and delivers. Strike one! Curveball is over for a called strike. Oh, he must have been looking for a different pitch because that curveball was right down the middle. Pitch on the way. Hit up the middle. Gets through. That run's going to score. I tried to go down with that 0-1 pitch, but it gets blasted right back for the base hit. But the way he went after that in the box, Steve, it looked like he might have been guessing down there. Well, I'll tell you what. You have to make contact behind in the count. He got a pitch over the heart of the plate, and he took advantage of it. And fans, look out for next Tuesday. It'll be out. Alex Rodriguez and the Seattle Mariners. They find themselves at the Rangers ballpark in Arlington to take on Texas. That one's set for an 8 o'clock start. Now looking forward to that. That's going to be some kind of matchup, Gary. Good ball game. Grounded out his last time through. Two outs and a runner on second. First pitch to him. Watches a fastball that's in there. 0 and 1. Good pitchers change the hitter eye level. You go down low, then you run the fastball up high. A lot of times they just look at it go by. Swung on and ripped towards second. Throws on to first. Side is retired. So they pick up a hit but leave a man at second and fail to score. Athletics holding on to the lead. A crisp day here. At the ball yard. Temperatures might be dropping a bit later on towards the evening. Last time he walked and then came around to score.
Two men on and two men out. He makes contact, line drive. And that's out number three. So no runs, two hits, and they strand two. And the Mariners coming up next. Folks here enjoying an afternoon of baseball. Well, nice day so far, just a few clouds. Look here, that was his third walk in this game, but he's been able to pitch around his base runners and not give up any runs. Two down, runners at first and second. And Jojo McCall's for the pitch. Swing and a shot down the left field line. And it gets down. That's hit number two, making good contact. And he scores. Leave a pitch over the center of the plate like that, you're going to pay for it. Uh, no doubt about it. Big leaguers take advantage of those kinds of mistakes. going to be Jackson now. He had a single in his last time up. Be Jackson now. One for two in the ball game. Two men on and two men out. Here's the first pitch. Ball. Fastball just misses. One and oh. Well, anytime you have a good fastball and you can keep it down in the zone around the knees or lower, it's great location and believe me, very difficult to hit. Here's a spin and a throw back to second. Didn't look like he was going anywhere. It gets back easily. Now the 1-0 from Moore. Look out as that one runs in and hits him. Now the ball just sailed away from him. Couldn't control it. Now it loads the bases. Cochran is batting. And when you got the bases loaded like this, this is the opportunity you look for in a game. It may not come again. Well, when you have a lead, you want to keep adding to it. A big opportunity here to spread the margin. Two outs, bases loaded. First pitch, a line drive towards short. Makes its way through for a single. There's one. The best hitters in the game use the whole field. You have to be able to go the other way. Even when the pitch is over the heart of the plate, that's what he does right there. The guys prolong their career, not with power, but with base hits that are hit that way. Miguel will get the RBI chance. Well, well, I think we're seeing some padding here, although in this game there's no such thing as insurance runs, really. You've got the pitcher on the rope. You have to take advantage of it while he's down. Grounded out last time. Runner on second and two outs. The first pitch. Too far outside. One and oh. 
We're looking at this guy's pitch count. He's up over 80 pitches thus far. You wonder how long they're going to let him go. Well, you see something new in this game every day, Steve. They're going to intentionally put him on to face one of the best hitters in the game. And you've got to really question this strategy, Gary. I mean, I don't know why you do this unless perhaps maybe you saw something in the scouting report. They better hope it doesn't backfire. Here's a look at what's coming up for the A's. They finish up the Seattle series tomorrow. They hit the road for what should be a competitive series. The Blue Jays at Rogers Center. That'll get underway on Thursday night. Then they have yet another venue. Minnesota Twins will be hosting so they'll be on the road quite a bit over this next stretch. Two down runners at first and second. And the first pitch starts him out with a fastball for a strike. Tough pitch to hit right here when you run this fastball up and away you have to elevate your swing to get on top of it. He ends up taking the pitch. Swings on the 0 1 pitch. Can't hit it. Strike two. Let two seam fastball down and away. It's awfully tough to center that ball and make solid contact. That time he couldn't even make any contact. Here's the pitch. Oh. Nice to get him to golf at that one, but he lays off and uh, one, two count. One two pitch coming. Fastball swung out and missed, and the sides retired. They pick up no runs on a hit, and they leave two on. A's not letting this lead get away. Fox is the batter. He's going to lead off bottom half of the sixth. Inning. Well, he's up by three, but he's got three men on board and nobody out. Now, this guy's in a serious jam right now, but if I had one guy to pick on my team to pitch, it would be this guy in this situation. And here's the first one. This oh. one's grounded foul wide at first. Here's the pitch. Swing liner back up the middle. That'll be a base hit at an RBI. And Rodriguez also scores. Well, anytime you're in the gym, you want to try to make quality pitches to try to help yourself get out of an inning. He made a mistake. The hitter delivered with that big two-run single, and yet there's still nobody out, and he's in more trouble than ever. With two runners on base and a chance for a big inning, they're going to the pinch hitter, trying to see if they can't generate some offense this inning. All important production at this point in the ball game. Cut that deficit, keep pushing, that's what they're after. Boy, they're narrowing the lead late here in the game, Gary, and they're showing some fight left in those bats. Hit hard to second. Over to second for one. And the double play, they got a move. Nice play, especially on the relay to first. 4-6-3. Uh, it's textbook right there. Taylor made double play. Hit it where they are and turn it. Let's take a look at the American League rankings from last season and check out what the Seattle Mariners did. Fourth in stolen bases, 14th in doubles, and the triples numbers, well, they weren't quite what the numbers you'd, you'd want for a team, and it really shows the fact they didn't have the kind of speed necessary to take that extra base. Now the first pitch. 
Fastball in there, 0-1. Uh, it's important to get that first strike. Now the pitcher in the catbird seat. Here's the pitch. That swung on, line towards the gap in left center. And it gets down. And it's tied up. The tying run crosses the plate. Let's see what the RBI means for the win expectancy. Well, he likes that ball up in the zone. He can see it well. He just pounds it for a base hit and driving in a run. And this is called manufacturing runs the old-fashioned way. Well, there's so many different ways to do it. Lump the base hits together. And Chojima settles in. Still without a hit yet in the game. You'll get another chance here. And Chojima settles in. Struck out swinging last time. Runner on first, two away. And he's looking to drive home that possible go-ahead run. And with one out here, Gary, I think you have to look to bring the infield in and cut that runner down at the plate. And the first pitch right starts him out with a fastball for a strike. A good four-seam fastball right there. You have to know yourself. He didn't think he could catch up to it. Better off to take it. Churros on the move. Drops down a bunt. Oh, he's got it. And he is safe at the plate. Wow. He caught him napping and picks up a run. And he scores. And the tie is broken. They take the lead. It's Alex Rodriguez at the plate two away. Hit six for 21 last year off the A's here in Oakland. He represents the potential tying run here in the bottom half of the last inning. Can he do it? Well, for the pitcher, he's got to be a little bit nervous. The last thing he wanted to do is to see one of the game's best hitters come into the plate. Here's the first pitch. And a grounder is at the last out. And on to first for out number three, and that's going to do it. Well, they picked up a big run in the final inning, Gary, and then held the lead, and the visiting team going home happy. Now we got the highlights. We want to show you uh, who we're giving this player of the game award to. Well, coming into the game, you told someone you're going to get two hits today, you'd be very happy. The average goes up, and everything else is good for you, but the bottom line is those two hits were the reason this team won the game, and it shows because he's our player of the game. And they come into hostile territory, Steve, and take this one by one run. Well, both teams had a chance to win it. Goes down to the very end, but the visiting club outplayed them. And that's going to do it for us here. For Steve Phillips, John Crock, I'm Gary Thorne. Take care.